Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to Saw 6. I've got two hands up. In like two weeks, two and a half weeks, I have watched these movies, fallen in love with them. It's, I'm amazed at how jazzed I am to watch these, how excited I get. I was never the person that was like excited for horror movies. I was always terribly afraid. And these have changed my perspective so much. And maybe I got lucky and I started with the series that's the most well-written series that has a central character that is so amazing that I'm drawn to John Kramer. I want him to win. How sick is that? I, I, that's, that's how serial killers get a following. I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's how they do it. Um, I have especially loved engaging with all of you guys about the conversations about which movie people liked the best because people are like, oh, the first three are the best, hands down. There's some people that are like, you know, four and five are garbage. I thought five was amazing. Four was great until the last two minutes. And then I was like trying to do the math. And, and that just, I think that ending was to open up the story to five, quite frankly. Watching them sequentially in a row, I also think gives me a different perspective because I didn't have to wait a year and a half for the next movie to come out. So I got an immediate payoff watching it right away. Um, so I, I do definitely think me watching it this way, I have a completely different perspective. That being said, I've also heard that people say five sucks, six is great, seven is awful, eight is perfect, four is wonderful. Everyone is all over the map. And I think that that's amazing because there's different aspects of different movies that resonated with them, that it's not one size fits all. I love that about these movies is that there's some people that are in it for the traps. I totally get it. They're really cool. They're, I used to think that I was going to be emotionally wrecked from watching it. And there's times where I'm just like, ew, that's gross. But I'm glad it's not me, but ah, ooh, eh, it's kind of fun to watch. <laughs> Especially the pendulum from the last one. I was joyfully laughing watching a man get sawed in half. Words I'd never thought I'd say, <laughs> but here we are. I digress. Um, I'm super looking forward to this one because this is the one that I hadn't heard a lot about, but then my reaction to five, a lot of people were saying six was their favorite. I don't know what any of that means and I don't know why. And I'm so excited. All I know at this point is Tobin Bell's in it and that's all I care about really. <laughs> so from the last one, Agent Strom is dead. Um, I don't know how you come back from that. <laughs> Squish like grape. But I do have some questions. Seth said Hoffman's sister's death was an accident. And granted, those pictures did not look like an accident. Was it? And also, what was the technicality that he got off from his life sentence? Like, how did he only serve five years? Which explains a lot about Hoffman, right? Like, did he unjustly kill somebody or was it indeed an accident? Because Hoffman's a little not so, right? I stated this, but it's been kind of nagging me that the pen was left in Strom's pocket and all of the other stuff that he had with him, his gun, his knife, all that was sitting off to the side with a light on it to showcase that he didn't have those things. Why was the pen left in his pocket? Was it because Hoffman knew he would be able to escape with it because he wasn't playing a game. There wasn't like a countdown of like, hey, if you get out of this, you win, or if you sacrifice this, you win, or whatever. There, there, was, there was no game that was being played. So was the pen left in there intentionally so he would end up in the box? Was that whole scenario something that was planned by Hoffman? If it is, that's unbelievable. Three, the music sheets. I still don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but the fact that they showcased it almost twice with that door and it was right there and it was very obvious because it was halfway covering the entrance. So I feel like there's a prominence to that music. We'll find out. Lastly, we were told that Agent Perez died. 
but we didn't see a body. We didn't see a death and we didn't actually hear her say Agent Hoffman's name before she died. That's all from Strong, right? So did they fake her death on the off chance that Hoffman would come after Strom because Strom knew that he was part of the jigsaw killing scenario. Um, supposedly those were her last words and that was what we were told, but we never saw her die. And really shrapnel to the face is not a life ending injury. She might've wanted to die. I don't know what her, I mean, she might've be scarred. I don't know. I, I think, Facial scars are sometimes cool. <laughs> but did they come up with a plan to catch Hoffman if something happened to Strom? I guess I'm going to find out. Let's get into it. So exciting! Oh my gosh. I've been flying through these. It's like, it's almost like an addiction. Do they have saw support groups? <laughs> but because they love it? Probably plenty of people who don't like it. There's the trauma group and the inspiration group. Not inspiration like murder. I'm not inspired to murder anyone. Maybe. Okay, Kevin, I can already tell that your filming style is much different. What is that? Oh. Okay, they know each other. No, 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 no. Hey, buddy. Recklessly long people money, knowing their financial limitations. You are predators, but today you become. I wonder when this was filmed. Like 2008, 2009. Seems relevant to that situation. Toll is the ultimate sacrifice. The sacrifice of flesh. He's ready to go. Who has given the most flesh will release their bindings while the gears on your opponent's head will engage, piercing their skull. Uh... Ah! Holy shit. I mean, he does have a lot of flesh to give. She's gonna jump off her arm? Oh my god. Girl, get the cleaver! The cleaver! Why would you cut your arm off with a knife? Use the fucking cleaver! It's right there! And that's what I'm talking about. Go put it in there before you fucking just like pass the fuck out. Oh, this one's definitely different. You will never be heard from again. Your body will never be found. That fucking smirk from Hoffman. But Hoffman looking away, what a pansy. Oh God. Is that even necessary to show? I've got to work late again. Well, I got to meet with legal. That's going to jam you up for certainly the rest of the afternoon. Gross. I know it's your birthday. I'm gonna make it up to you, I promise. Oh, I hope this guy dies. <laughs> it's a little harsh. <laughs> Oral surgery is going to leave scar tissue. Scar tissue can lead to gum disease, and as you well know, gum disease can cause heart disease. That's not even true. That's not even true. Just for the record, scar tissue does not lead to gum disease. Bacteria does. I work in a dental office. It's really feisty. <laughs> my job to check the accuracy of his claim. Look, everybody thinks we're the bad guys. It's because you are. Looking good, Hank. I 
feel like Hank is gonna come back. I didn't know you ever made it out from behind the desk. I make exceptions when fingerprints are found at a jigsaw murder scene. You know I did yet? Yeah. They're even strong. Of course they are. Perez were being targeted by jigsaw. I should have been more aware, but uh, I didn't see this coming. We have something he doesn't know about. Lindsay. I knew it. Still not a reason to turn into a serial killer, but it's extremely sad. Skin abrasions, they're indicative of a knife with a partially serrated edge. So all of the other cuts were made with a near perfect blade of surgical quality. Tempered steel. Same knife was used in only one other victim. And that victim was Seth. Seth. The man who killed your sister. They're on to you, Hoffman. I've examined every victim of the Jigsaw Killer. Good work. The tape from the latest victim. <laughs> He's pissed. Don't fucking move. <gasps> but who was it? You don't just shoot somebody. Oh, shit. Oh. You dumbass. Used to scare me, now it gets me excited. Because that means the game started. Oh. Hello, William. Oh, jeez. You've probably been wondering when we would see each other again. Today is that day. <laughs> Straps on your arms and legs will detonate. You have 60 minutes to complete your tests and avoid this fate. If you don't reach the end before the timer hits zero, you will never see your family again. Where are we? I miss the green lights. It was very saw-like. Oh my god. He missed your birthday. Don't be sad. He's a dick. Every time you take a breath, the clamps around your chest will close in and crush your body. Make your choice. Fuck you! Yeah, saying fuck you to John never works out well. Poor Kate! Oh, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Forgot, I get to breathe. Keep forgetting to breathe. Oh, oh no! <sighs> Hank didn't deserve to die because he was a smoker. I mean, there's plenty of times I wish death on people that smoke around me. <laughs> That's harsh. Is that the location where John died? Does it mean anything to you? No. <laughs> Not convincing. Pig face? Pig face! <laughs> I'm getting good at this. I'm gonna go work for John. Is it predictable? Yes. Do I still enjoy it? Absolutely. So in a sense, you choose who lives or dies. But you're not taking into consideration the most important human element of all. Which is what? The will to live. John's expertise. Oh, probably the one that's not lit up. Who's in there? Take them. What's up, buddy? Standing on the platforms behind me are two of your colleagues. According to your policy, your secretary is older and weaker. Oh but you know the last that she will be to her family, while young Alan will disappear without a blip. You easily get rid of the guy with no family. I won't do this! I won't do this! 
You didn't have a choice, girl. Me and you gotta. The kid with no family. The kid with no family. I'm not married. I don't have children. I would expect to be the one killed. Like, it's fine. I'm leaving nothing behind. Oh, God. something else that we wanted to discuss with you what's that better talk about it in person aka we're on the os last minute tweaks so glad we get this backstory though I have to change the gear grease to match the increased friction maybe you should stick to the heavy lifting <laughs> bitch put a love amanda so the question was answered i didn't know if hoffman and amanda knew each other but apparently they do. Oh, poor Timothy. John noticed. Do you like how brutality feels, Mark? Let's be honest. You want him to suffer just as much as I do. That was never what John wanted. What's your test, detective? I don't need one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I like even more that they did know each other and they couldn't stand each other. That makes my heart happy for some reason. Wait, so she knew! She knew what was going on! She's been to the scene of the crime. That's nuts. When all this is done, I will provide a way out for you. But whose office is that? Oh, whose office was that? <laughs> I really do miss the green lighting that we got from all the other Saw movies. You think it's the living that will have ultimate judgment over you because the dead will have no claim over your soul. But you may be mistaken. Poetry. Matched her chest will discharge and pierce her brain. Okay. Jesus. Quick death. Quick death. <laughs> I've got a steam burn from soup. I can't imagine from a pipe. <laughs> it is a trap. <laughs> it's John's. It's been way longer than 90 seconds, yes? It's in him. Why do they hide keys and people? <laughs> it's fucked up. Just cut the stitches, you psycho. You don't have to take off his head. <laughs> He's got to move on quick, doesn't he? <laughs> Who's in there with you? We're all in here, sir. All six of us. What the hell is going on? Oh my gosh. The dog pit is in there. Hey, buddy. But remember the mounted gun. We'll continue to fire until all six rounds are spent. And live, for we'll die. Your decisions symbolized by the blood on your hands. Oh my god! Yes, the woman with the kids needs to live. Save her! Wow. Oh. The thing that sucks is a shot to the abdomen doesn't kill you right away. It needs to be to the head. Oh. Two people, it was easy. It was 50 50. Oh. 
Poor Josh. Now he knows he's gonna die. Oh my god. Look at me! When you're killing me, you look at me! I feel bad for the people that died. Not for William. Whatsoever. Do not let him stand behind you. There it is. Right now, you're feeling helpless. Oh, damn it! Why? Oh. Really, Perez made it through just to get stabbed to death? Everybody. Everyone. Oh, please tell me that's true. Please tell me that's true. I'm not glad we got Perez back for five whole minutes. It was at the location where John died. Does it mean anything to you? Get used to me, because I'm not going anywhere. You sure about that? Is this the note? Jill, <laughs> you superhero. What are you doing here? Well, I know it's your birthday. <gasps> I'm gonna get up to you, I promise. Are you really standing up for your sister for work? I'm your only family. It was his sister. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. You just killed me. <gasps> Come on, let's go. Oh my god! Twist! Oh my god! The opportunity to save your husband's life. He chose not to. What's in the box? Yeah, I wouldn't tell anyone either. Yeah, what is that? I saw it. <gasps> Why am I laughing? This is so delightful. Six one was for me. <sighs> this is John's will. <laughs> if you don't do it, your son's going to. He got that look in his eye. gets out, I riot. <laughs> Dear God, that is disgusting. So when's your test, detective? I don't need one. Oh yeah? He better not fucking get out of this. Freaking out, man. Fucking, I want to see this work. <laughs> Do you like how brutality feels, Mark? What? I'll give you a chance. Are you kidding me? I 
like, I literally have to work tomorrow. I can't stay up to watch the next movie. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I like practically pulled all my hair out. That was that was something. So I'm getting a Saw 4 vibes again where I didn't get the completion that I needed. But I'm probably missing at least five pounds of hair for my head. That was an intense ending. And all I want to see more than anything in the world. I want to see the reverse bear trap work. Is it too much to ask? Great movie. Great writing. Um, I do love that Jill was involved in this and that Hoffman was her target because I, when she opened the box, I thought I saw that mechanism and then you never saw it again. And I was like, shit, did I miss see something? Um, but I, I'm so glad that I did see the reverse bear trap in there. I would really like to see that do its job, especially on Hoffman. Amanda, I, I don't know if I would have dug that whatsoever, but definitely Hoffman, it would have been a little sweet payoff. I'm glad we got to see what was in the note. Um, Amanda being partially responsible for Gideon's death is tragic and now I could see why the thing that she was told wrecked her so emotionally in that moment where I thought it was John that wrote the note and maybe said goodbye to her that wasn't the case it's that somebody knew she was also responsible that she was involved but obviously Erickson and Perez knew Hoffman was suspect why would you ever turn your back on that man? Why would you not have backup waiting for you? It's beyond me, especially if you faked Perez's death, which I want to say, not that I called because it took me editing the video to see it, but definitely when I was editing it, I was just like, hmm, it's really weird that she died and she said, supposedly, her last words were Detective Hoffman. I also kind of really like that they included, because I can see that this movie took place in 2009, um, took place. It, it was released in 2009, so it took place during the housing crisis. It took place during a time when you could still have pre-existing conditions and not be treatable. If this doesn't make you view the world a little bit differently, how different it is actually now, how pre-existing conditions can't be used against you and how safeguarded it is to purchase real estate. Is it harder for people who need homes? Yes. But is it better? I think so. They really took something that was current in that time and put it into the storyline. Um, I, absolutely loved that the twist at the end was not that that was his family. I, I really thought he was missing his wife's birthday because he was cheating with his lawyer. He was telling his sister he couldn't make a birthday. I just, oh, how that, how it all came together was just beautiful, beautiful writing. Um, I do miss the green lights. I think I said that a couple times that I, I miss that saw feeling of like, every time a game started, there should be green lights. It didn't feel like a Saw movie, but it felt like a Saw movie, if you know what I mean. Um, it felt like a current, up with the time kind of Saw movie. It took place 12 years ago, um, but it still seems more current and more, um, the fact that they could do voice manipulation with the tapes and figure out that it was Hoffman on the tape rather than John. I think that uh, technology would have screwed over Jigsaw in the past, knowing what I know now. So at least one question that I asked at the beginning got answered, and that was whether or not Perez actually died. Um, still don't know about the music. Seth saying 
Hoffman's sister's death was an accident. What was the technicality? Still don't know that information. I don't know if that's going to lead into the next movie, but I do know that Hoffman didn't die. He didn't die. Much to my dismay, he did not die. That would have been a delicious payoff at the end of this. But now I feel like he's going to come after Jill. And so I'm afraid for her. Oh, I can't wait for the next movie. I'm sure while I'm editing, I'm going to find more questions that I just need to have answered. Um, I think the next one is the final chapter. Saw 7. Maybe it's Saw 3D, the final chapter. Um, I don't know what to expect in that other than maybe some more Hoffman and definitely some more John and possibly some more Jill. None of which I'm upset about other than I wish Hoffman had met his demise. But if it gives me another movie, I'm okay with it. So of course, all the gross shit, like, subscribe, comment, bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, I have had so much fun talking with you guys about these movies and, and, and having that interaction and just sharing my excitement with you because I never thought in a million years that I would feel jazzed and energized. Anyway, so I'll see you guys for the next movie. Um, hopefully it's coming out within the next week or so because I'm kind of addicted to them. So I want to pump them out as quickly as possible. Um, I'm looking forward to it so much. I'll see you guys.